The question that comes up every time there's a school shooting, how do we stop this from happening again? 13 On Your Side's Carla Byron talked to an expert from the University of Michigan about creating a safe climate at school. Patrick Carter with the University of Michigan's Institute for Firearm Injury Prevention says the first step to reducing mass and school shootings is prevention. A common sense thing people can do is safely secure their firearms. Both because it could per perpetrate a school shooting, but also because, you know, troubled teens who are depressed might be at risk for self-inflicting a harmful injury or, you know, uh, retaliating against somebody who has uh, perpetrated violence against them in the past. Carter says more research needs to be done about risk factors for school shooters in general. But what we do know is we know that um, kids who are exposed to high levels of violence are at risk for future violence perpetration. And we know that along with that comes a whole host of mental health issues such as PTSD and anxiety and depression. And so really helping kids deal with um, their traumatic exposures that they've experienced to prevent things from happening in the future is really a key fundamental thing that we need to do in terms of primary prevention. Carter says we also need to provide students with skills to resolve conflicts in nonviolent ways and help them to recognize when other students are in distress so they can notify adults who can then intervene. Um, kids are able to recognize when somebody is uh, more stressed or uh, engaged in a, a, a pattern of behaviors that are negative. And there is research going underway right now to look at how students can actually anonymously report those types of things to staff so that they're not tagged with being somebody who um, is tattletailing on another student. Carter says it's still yet to be seen whether this can be a positive force for prevention. Carla Byron, 13 on your side.